the free tuition program was modeled after the way national programs of this sort operate, which is they are called last mile programs. That means that students have to apply all of their other financial aid, scholarships, Pell Grants, and the free tuition program makes up the difference, the last mile. With the board's new decision, it makes our free tuition program a first mile program, meaning that we apply free tuition first and then the students can use their other financial aid, Pell Grant scholarships, to make up whatever difference there might be in regards to tuition, and there will be none because we will cover all of tuition, so they can use that other support to cover books, fees, housing, any other educational choice. So this small change is major because students will have more financial aid support. They will not have to work as much. They can help support themselves throughout uh, the higher education journey. So we believe that more students will take advantage of free tuition because of this change and we believe more students will be able to complete their degree without having to work and go through other financial challenges. The vaccination requirement that was passed a year ago has now changed so that there is a testing exception for students who want to attend in-person classes. Uh, we recognize that the conditions related to COVID have improved uh, within the territory and therefore the board was more willing to relax the requirement. A student starting in the fall, if they do not want to be vaccinated, uh, can uh, engage in testing on a periodic basis. We will probably start out in the first month doing it every two weeks then we will probably move to doing it monthly. And if the student is negative, then they can attend in-person classes. We still encourage all students to be vaccinated because we think that's the best protection. But if a student does not want to be vaccinated, then this exception will allow them to attend in-person classes. And our goal is to have students back in the classroom because we think that's the better a form of education. We made both of these changes because what the board and what I want is for more students to engage the university and to be successful. If you don't have financial aid support that can stand in the way of your success. Uh, if you can't attend in-person classes it stands in the way of you getting I think the most enriching education. So we want more students to attend. We want those students who are attending to be successful. In addition to those changes, we want students to come back to a better, more engaged university on the St. Thomas campus. In the fall, we'll be launching a new innovation center, technology innovation center, the 13D Innovation Center that will have so many opportunities for students to create things, to work with uh, companies and faculty around technology innovation. On the St. Croix campus, we just launched a medical simulation center. We want students to get engaged, even though it's primarily for individuals pursuing health careers, we think that there is things in that center for all students to see, learn, and be inspired. Uh, those are just a few of examples of new things that will await students in the fall, and we want them to come back to engage the university and to be successful.